Welcome back. Today we're heading dive into the wacky world of memory cards, where numbers, acronyms, reign supreme, and confusion lurks around absolutely every corner. Are we talking about SD cards, SDHC cards, SDXC cards, UHS one, two, or three? If any of this is confusing you, you're in the right place. By the end of this, you will be a memory card guru, understanding exactly what you need to know to make sure that you get the best card for your gear. First off, you need to understand that memory cards tend to come in four formats. You have your standard SD cards, you have your high capacity standard cards, which is what people normally use for things like photography, hence why you're here. But for those who are looking to do that bit extra and go to that video side of things, if you're really interested in vlogging and stuff, then you're going to go to the even more extended cards and potentially even a compact flash. It's really important that you understand the single type of format because micro SDs are great for things like your phone and for your tablet and the switch, but it's not gonna help you when you get to these bigger things. And you need to make sure that you're reading and writing at the right frames to make sure it captures the best footage for you. How do we actually know which one we need to do? Well, basically you need to look at the actual device you're using it for. It will tell you which one you need as in type. We then need to go into the nitty gritties to make sure that we have all the extra jargon completely decoded. Things you need to understand obviously certainly is they're labelled with a variety of different symbols and you need to understand their specifications and their capabilities. So let's break down the simple basic. Obviously you've got your capacity storage, how much will it store? And this is really really important depending on what you want to put on it because if you want to put a 4k footage on it then you're going to need more than a 6 megabyte or even the six gig. Understanding your capacity, how much you can put on it. Then you've got your speed class, okay? We have a class two, four, six, ten. These are quite literally your minimum write speeds in which it will do per second. So if it's a class two, it will write it at a minimum of two megabytes per second. So again, capacity, gotta think about these things. You then have your ultra high class, which is your US, which is basically symboled like this. And that gives you an idea of whether it's going to do a minimum write speed for your higher end memory cards, which is normally a minimum of 10 megabytes. But obviously we do have things that do support higher, faster, more professional cameras. So your full frames or your mirrorless cameras will need that higher rate. So make sure you're looking for that little too, because it will help you get what you need. Next, you're gonna to need to know your video speed. We all have a habit of sitting there going, we're accidentally going to be record something, especially when your kid is being super cute, or if you literally want to showcase a product. If you're looking at a V6, it will write at a minimum speed of six megabits per second, sorry. Um, then you've got your V10s, which is 10 megabytes per second, your V30, your V60, your V90, and so on. So this will tell you how much your minimum write speed is. This is important when you're looking to capture things like your slow footage. So if you're looking to do uh, slow motion, or if you're looking to do 60 and 20 frames, then these are the things you need to consider. Then you have your SD bus interface speed, which basically indicates the maximum data speed between your memory card and the device. So your standard is up to like 12 and a half megabytes whereas you come up to the U us one two and three you'll be looking at 100 megabytes 300 megabytes it really does make a difference for you then we obviously need to look at your overall extended capacity marking so your standard tends to go up to like 512 then you've got your high capacity which will go up to like a terabyte now and then you've got your extended capacity, which will go up to like 100 terabyte. And then you've got your stupid redonkulous, which is where you get up to like 100 terabytes and it's ridiculous. Understanding these symbols and symbols will help you choose the right memory card for your project. And I will say I do have different memory cards depending on what I'm doing with my camera. So if I'm doing a set of standard shoot, then obviously I will be looking to pick up my 64 uh, SDHC. But if I'm looking to do some vlogging and I'm looking to work on the high things, then I'll be definitely picking up something like my SDSC or even my compact flash, depending on the device that I'm using. This is really, really important. And if it has helped you in any way, shape or form to understand the different rates in which we do things, then I would highly appreciate hitting that like button because we like to explain these things so that you don't have to have the headache of doing it. Simple, but concise. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications to make sure you don't miss our next upload. Remember, keep clicking, keep creating, keep inspiring, and until next time, happy shooting.